A week ago, we released the brand new NX69 batteries, but today we want to keep pushing the boundaries of 1S batteries. Introducing the Nitro Nectar Gold 3000 milliamp. We have always been fascinated by the idea of 1S18650 builds. They fly for a very long time, they easily surpass 20 minutes. With current ELRS technology, you can fly out for miles without breaking a sweat. We actually did a crazy 11 kilometer one way flight with this build a while ago. Check that video out. However, there is a glaring issue with the old 18650 battery cells. They're very underwhelming in terms of current delivery. Even the top of the line Sony cell batteries max out at 30 amps. Well, it all changes today with the new generation of 18650 battery cells. Right off the bat, no pun intended, this battery can deliver 36 amp continuous and up to 140 amps for 10 seconds. This battery is straight out of a fiction movie. I think Dr. Emmett Brown is going to come into our timeline to steal this battery. With its new tabless technology, it's a huge step up from your old Sony battery. And with its max output burst of 140 amps, it's going to make your 1S long range feel even punchier than before. We are using an Ampace JP30 cell and we're actually the first ones in the US to carry it. And with this cell you get almost LiPo-like performance so you get the best of both worlds, power and endurance. To unleash the full power of these batteries, we designed a battery holder with high quality battery contact springs made out of brass and plated with 24 karat gold. When installed, these springs will sit fully flushed with the battery terminals ensuring you're getting the best conductivity and lowest resistance out of the battery. So right now, you can get a set of two of these Nitro Nectar Gold 3000 milliamp batteries for $19.99 at NubiDrone.com. And if you want to get a set of these battery contact springs, they're on sale for $4.99 and the file for the battery mount is free. But wait, there's more. We've been hard at work these past few months developing the next generation of nano long range drones. And to give you a sneak peek, let me go ahead and bring in the big boss, a guy who pays me to talk about it more. I'm going to talk about uh, something about this new, new, new that we are been working on uh, in the past couple months. So since the last time, um, Alex and Caesar they make this uh, long range drone. It's a uh, three inch, right? Three inch, and it's using the uh, Hummingbird V4. Uh, I mean, the Hummingbird V4 for Whoop, it's pretty good. Uh, the MOSFET can hold up very well. But with this motor, if we want to uh, unleash all the power from this Nitro Nectar Go, it's not enough. So when we do the test with this battery, this drone cannot pull even like 25 amps. Yeah, so it's, it doesn't feel powerful enough. So we make another flight controller. It's actually the shape of a uh, 18650 battery. And we are probably the first in the industry to make a shape of a flight controller uh, dedicated for uh, 18650 battery, one cell. It's perfectly centered and we also have a reverse plug-in protection on this board. Even you plug in an 18650 backward, you are not going to burn the board like this. Nothing. And we make a uh, special frame like this uh, to mount uh, this special fright controller. And then the name for this fright controller will be Lion B. Everything inside this board is new. For example, we use AM32 on a 1S. And then uh, we are using the AT chips. The ELRS is SPI base. On this ESC, we use dual N channel. Uh, so it can go up to 20 amps per each channel. I was literally just doing freestyle with this drone and it's so fun because you have the power and you also have the flight time. It can handle a one cell battery power as low as 1.8 volt. It's because we want to have the uh, stable 5 volt to support the VTX power. Um, this type of battery, the cutoff voltage is around like 2.3 or 2.4. So when it gets too low, the whole system can still operating normally. This is the purpose why we uh, designed it to 
be able to work um, around like 2 volt, even 2 volt or like 1.8, it can still work. The VTX power, we are trying to make it a little bit powerful on this uh, prototype. It's around like 800 milliwatts. Okay, so if you guys want to build this one, we have all the power and you can check out on our website. If you are interested to this one, leave us a comment and we will see how many people are really want to try it. And if there is enough demand, we will definitely make this uh, for you guys. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.